graceful Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey Like stars in the darkest night Crystallized, fascinate If you wanna stay alive If you don't wanna be her prey Don't stand in her way Run, run, run away Crystal like crystal Jesus Lord, thank you so much for everything For giving me this blessing Beautiful girl in the world and this beautiful boy, beautiful angel, beautiful soul. Thank you, Jesus Lord, for everything. This is a blessing that was with me. Every time when I'm with them, I feel so complete. I wanna be with them every single day. Yeah, this is such a blessing. Big blessing, another blessing day with my beautiful woman and my little boy. I'm so in love with these beautiful people. I always feel like I say awkwardly hi <clears throat> hi guys welcome back to my channel obviously you guys already know what I am going to be doing today I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday work makeup and everyday work hair you know my hair I honestly just haven't even done my hair because I'm already gonna do a little tutorial at the end of the video so First, we are going to be doing my makeup and I am going to be at the order that I normally always go, you know, like I am pretending that it's like 5.40. Every day I get up at 5.45, 5.40, I go straight to brush my teeth. Fun fact, it takes me 20 minutes to brush my teeth because I like to wash them two times because I just have like, um... I just don't want to, I'm afraid of like not brushing my teeth long enough and I don't want to be like those people that have stinky breath, but <laughs> I don't know why. At first, I couldn't believe that it took me 20 minutes to brush my teeth and I was like, you know, like, it was probably because I was like washing my face or something, but no, um, I kept track and it actually does take me. 20 minutes to brush my teeth and guys I'm pretty sad because every single time I do like a get ready with me um like a makeup look like I normally don't have pimples and like today um like today so I feel like it was because I was sleeping on my stomach and like the pillows I don't know um, because of the bacteria on the pillow or something because I literally woke up with so many pimples like I have so many pimples everywhere and I just like really I had to really this had to happen today and by the way guys uh, my eyebrow bone hurts you guys know it's like a sinus headache <sighs> um, I had to I had to still record a little something for you guys let's go ahead and begin because i don't want to like keep you guys so what i always 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 do every morning is my eyebrows they were actually like really long like my eyebrows were hairy and just so long like i didn't trim it but i plugged them just like five minutes ago and every morning i use the same products every morning i do the same thing so this is what I literally do every morning, every day. I'm using the Essence. It's all about brows. 4-in-1 palette. And you guys have seen it before. In my other tutorials, I use the same products um, too. Because of work. And I don't want to like, you know, be wasting my time trying to find a different product. So I just have it all together in this little box. Like the products that I use. The only thing that I actually do change maybe is the foundation. Like I'll use... Like one foundation in three days, I'll change it up. It hurts, Let's go like ahead and work on the eyebrows. And I just like to like push it up. The greatest heights jump down and have a fight. This probably takes me 15 to 20 minutes the most. Never change my mind when it's good. And since 
is work makeup um and you know i'm in a rush trying to also get my son ready for school i do not have time to do what i would normally do or what i used to do and like you know like clean up my brows um with a concealer and then take off the concealer with a wipe so what i have been doing i just get like the same foundation that i am going to be using and today it's the fit me dewy and smooth so i'm going to grab some foundation um and that's how i'm going to clean my eyebrows so i just put like four dots on the top and the bottom of each brow and time this way um because you know you're not gonna have to take it off since it's already going to be the foundation that you're going to be using it's going to blend so then next what i do i just grab a little bit of foundation and then i'm going to start putting it all over my uh, my eyes and also like blend the foundation that i used to clean up my brows <laughs> it's a miracle guys because like i would never imagine for me to have like a 15 minute makeup routine that is just really really crazy like i went from being over an hour to literally taking 15 to 20 minutes to the makeup since obviously i tend to use the same brushes for two days these are all the brushes that i used yesterday i used this for powder so it has some well of the leftover powder powder so I'm just going to tap my eyes with this brush just because it already has product I do not have to add then anything else. I do the same thing on my face once in a while once every other day I do try to just like change up my eye look just so people don't catch into my little secret of me doing my makeup the same every day um, so like for example this would be a time for me to go ahead and do an eyeliner or go ahead and add like some glitter you know a little little something that will only take you a few seconds maybe one minute but i am not going to be doing anything much on my eyes i was thinking about doing an eyeliner but no like just every other day, I do add a little detail on my eyes. Since I do have a lot of dark circles, let me know down below, guys, if you guys have any remedies or any advice. I haven't taken care of my dark circles. And, like, I know I have to. And it's just, like, like I need to get on top of it and, like, do something about it. The fastest way for, for me to start doing something about my dark circles is for you to leave me a comment, like, leave me a suggestion like try this try this lotion this whatever so obviously i cannot go without putting that heart candy color correct cushion wonder that's what i'm going to be doing just to hide a little bit of my dark circles i have actually been sleeping at nine impossible like to believe i know and the latest will probably be, probably be 9.30. If you told me like a few months back that I would be sleeping at 9, I would not believe you at all. So I remember I used to try to actually sleep early just because I know sleeping late was not okay for me. I just couldn't and I didn't understand why. I would like try to go to sleep at 9, probably 10 because I had like a horrible sleep schedule. I would go to sleep at 12, 1, 2 or 2 in the morning and I just couldn't so I just gave up because I would be like laying in bed um, like trying to go to sleep early. 10 o'clock was early for me so I would be laying in bed and just like staring. I would, I would be like I'm not even going to touch my phone like my mind is going to get tired. When time passed and I was still awake, I would go and look at my phone and it was 1 in the morning. Like the same time that I normally would always get sleepy. So then I was just like, you know what, I'm not even going to try. Like, I can't go to sleep early, so I'm just not going to anymore. Because I couldn't. This foundation, um, it is obviously looks lighter 
than my actual skin or like if I put it out honestly it wouldn't it would look fine my neck is darker than my face um I want to blend it in you know I want to make the same shade be the same so afterwards I am going to be doing the infallible total cover L'Oreal in 310 classic tan to make it darker i wouldn't be doing this step but because i'm using this foundation that's uh lighter than my skin tone i will but normally i wouldn't be doing this step i'm just going to add the foundation everywhere around my face i literally have a really really strong sinus headache but i love you guys i need to make a video for you guys because i love you so much I was just going to blend with a sponge. I think I added a little too much foundation, guys. Sorry. Let's go ahead and add this other foundation just everywhere on, on our face to make it be a better match of my skin. It's like this. My go-to concealer has been the um, ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So let me go ahead and add this. Amazing when it's bad, it's amazing. Which I'm running out of. Like, nobody got time to be baking your face and because of it, you know, like, get fired or get late to work, be late to work. So, what I've been doing, I just take out all this powder. Look at how much powder was in the brush. And I'm just going to put it on under my eyes. And that's technically it. But now I'm going to dip my brush into more powder, but this time I'm just not going to tap, tap all the excess up. And I'm just going to just spread it all over my face. This is a hundred times easier and faster than baking your whole face. We are going to be giving some color to our face. And with that, I'm going to be using that Maybelline City Bronzer, shade 300. I've been liking to do my bronzer and contour a little bit higher than I used to. You guys will see that it does look way better. Oh, you came and tucked your way into my heart. contour my nose with this and but I'm going to be using like a fluffy brush that you would use for your eyes I'm going to be repeating the same process but just on the crease of my eye and that makes a big difference like it looks like you like worked on your eyes for you know some time that you took some time to put work into your eye makeup but you literally didn't it only took you like 20 seconds and it does make your makeup look different um, with this I'm going to be using the fit me blush and the shade I have no idea but I'm going to be using this blush I like to add a lot of blush, so don't judge. See, and I'm still going for, for a second coat. One more. 
blush. No. Like seriously, I'm tapping in my brush and so much blush. I am going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to use a mascara to spike up my eyebrows. Before? After. Plugging my eyebrows was the best thing I could ever do. Because I feel like they look so much so, better. Putting on my fake lashes is actually... Let me think about it. The last step I do? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be doing the setting spray. And did you guys notice I did not add primer? And that was on purpose. I didn't forget this time. I actually meant to do that. I don't add primer for my makeup routine. And it honestly doesn't even make a difference. I don't know if it's the way I apply my makeup or what. But my makeup has lasted like the whole entire day. From almost 6 in the morning to like 10 at night. Um, which a lot of times the videos that I blogged or recorded, you know, videos that I recorded for you guys has been with my work makeup. And my work makeup doesn't include primer. So if you don't have primer, do not worry about it. It is not necessary to look beautiful and to make your makeup last like the whole entire day, which it's still beautiful regardless if you wear makeup or not. I like to add so much of this, which I'm trying to get better at that because I seriously add way too much. I feel like I'm not even getting any, but I do see it. So it is there. I just didn't feel it. Oh my gosh. And that always happens to me too. I always sneeze. I am going to be using the Wayne Wild some highlight too right here finally time for eyelashes to complete this look we're just missing eyelashes and my lipstick let me go get them because i keep them in the bathroom i actually don't leave my eyelashes everywhere which is a big surprise 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 i don't do that i also normally would clean them up with a baby wipe but nobody got time for that right now, so I'm just gonna put them as they are. So ignored if they are dirty, which I maybe should not even have said that, you know, because then you guys are probably gonna be staring at them now. But yeah, I actually take a few minutes to clean them with a wipe or with a twister. I'm just trying to do it like super quick. One of my coworkers actually. Uh, gave them to me because she's cool like that. She's always asking about like my makeup and like where I lashes to wear and I should be like next time I'm like oh you can watch my video to find all about the makeup that I use. That's a little bit weird. I don't like it when people tell me like people that I know or talk like oh my gosh what haven't you uploaded or like what do you teach them the name? My boyfriend always tells me like it's good you know like they want to support you tell them but then I'm like no like I'm too shy the glue that I use is the duo in black and I was gonna tell you guys something else my boyfriend took Armando to get a haircut they gave me time to do this I had to technically choose choose between filming this or editing, editing one of the videos that I already have I um, recorded that was like no like this is the perfect time for me to talk and not worry about like them listening to me and I can just like um talk to you guys and not have any background noise so perfect in case you guys were wondering like why is it so quiet where's everybody now you know man is looking fly like he's sad Getting a haircut. God, it's on the That's for some music. It's too quiet in here. Mm -hmm. 
I already added my eyelashes, and as you guys can tell, I also added the Murphy lipstick, which if you guys have not tried them, I really recommend them. I'm like really picky with a lot of like um, stuff, so if I'm telling you that you guys need to try them, you really have to. True story. They smell so good. Let me turn it off because it's kind of distracting me. What I normally do, um, I try to balance everything since like uh, when I go to work, like I don't have to wear certain clothing or a uniform. Basically, um, it's just like casual. So I'm always wearing leggings, and then my shoes are for sure like different. Like sometimes I'll have, you know, champion shoes. The other day I have like you know like comfy shoes. But the next day I have like boots. So that actually does change this. Um, and I hope I was recording because I don't know where the camera turns off. And that will make me so sad. This is it. Black leggings and some cute shoes. This is my workout fit almost every day. But yeah, normally I just have like leggings, whatever shoes, and a sweater. And I do try sometimes, like if I'm wearing like a really bright red sweater to wear red lipstick if i'm wearing a pink sweater i'll wear pink lipstick i am trying to go with green lipstick actually i have gone to work with a green lipstick before take that back and now you guys have guessed it i'm going to show you guys how i do my hair for work so for that let me fix the hair extensions how i normally would, would arrange them and while i am putting my hair extensions like rearranging them i'm going to be hitting up the curling wand that i'm going to be using from the company duval the majority of you guys know that i've worked with this company before and there's also a discount code for you guys i have their strainer and i have their curly wand i already had the curly wand and like i like it because it does like this kind of waves but i'm going to be using the strainer that i also have in testing it out for like the past few days and i love it um there's also a seven day off discount code for you my beautiful people people that's not my budget put the discount code it's gonna be like candy 70 or something like that i'll put it right here if i remember and if not it's going to for sure be in the description box like a hundred dollar strainer or one or whatever it's gonna be like 70 off with my discount code which ends up being like 20 or 30 dollars so let me go hit up the strainer i'll like check in with you guys once i'm going to start working on my hair so i already have my hair ready to go this is duval the company oopsies <laughs> this is duval this is the strainer Ooh. and it's super skinny and so lightweight it's not that clean because i actually i've been using it non-stop here is the uh, power on button and i always set it to 320 but yeah there it is guys this is what i do every morning but obviously it would be like in the bathroom so you guys ready to see <sighs> how i do my hair like you guys are gonna be like girl what are you doing but you know we gotta get some hacks and some tips and just gotta like you know just do what you gotta do first i comb my hair all the way to the front from back to the front and make sure i do the same on both sides can you guys see me or are you guys just seeing my hair and then i do a high ponytail with my hands and that's when I decide like how much hair I'm going to take out and this hard without a mirror. Technically I take out my bangs, which I need to do it. I need to be a little bit closer because I don't have a mirror. I'm using like the camera. I'm using you guys as a mirror. Um I hope this doesn't look bad. Now that we have that going on. 
now we can actually start to tie our hair with a with a what with a hairpin and I like to like have my ponytail really high up as you guys can tell that's like <laughs> that has been my hairstyle for the past few blogs almost in like every single blog so yeah I like to have it really high like a really high ponytail I'm just gonna do one more And I, f I find out that when you're doing a ponytail and you and you keep your head down, it actually makes it be like the best ponytail you could ever ask for. And then just like go like this. And your hair should fall into place. Hi, Ariana. I feel like I'm a Mexican Ariana Grande. So next, what I'm going to do is strain my bangs. I honestly can't even see very good, so I really hope this doesn't look bad. Maybe I should have taken you guys to the bathroom. Um, and you guys, I have to, I have, I have to, I'm so excited. Um, I have to tell you guys something that like, what I noticed about this strainer, it honestly, because you know like a lot of times like products clean, like it leaves your hair being like feeling smooth and like sleek and shine and you're like whatever, like nothing will work on my frizzy hair um i got out of the bathroom and then once my hair was dry i like strained like my whole hair and guess what like i feel that it was like super shiny and like it like something about this strainer made made my hair look so healthy i have to tell you guys something to like what i noticed about this strainer it honestly because you know like a lot of times like products clean like it leaves your hair being like feeling smooth and like sleek and shine and you're like whatever like nothing will work on my frizzy hair i got out of the bathroom and then once my hair was dry i like strain like my whole hair and guess what like i feel that it was like super shiny and like it like something about this strainer made made my hair look so healthy which if it can do that to my hair like wow but yeah what i like to do is strain my bangs to the opposite side that i'm actually going to have them so that would be on the left side i want to make sure it looks good but i can't even see Sometimes it's just like how I'm feeling that day. The whole banks on the side, but other times I like put like a tiny, tiny bit on the left side, and then like most of my banks on the right side. So it's really like just how I feel looks best that day. And you guys see, like I didn't have to like go over it over and over and over, like. Ooh, who is she also if I feel like my hair is like a little bit like out of place I will straighten just like this loose hair right here and see how fast I like did my hair and my makeup guys like once you're beautiful you don't even have to try <sighs> calm down with your self esteem girl but yeah I couldn't believe that like my hair and makeup could be done with this queen so this is how the final look looks like i like to have like some hair on the side and then a little bit in the back okay i forgot to pull hairspray so let me go ahead and do that it's just like setting powder i add a lot of hairspray so guys oh my gosh i actually freaking like tasted it it did it so bad like i'm tasting it i was like eating it Ugh, gross i hope you guys like it this is how i do my hair and my makeup for work like six days a week unless like i know like i'm going to like a party or like i have somewhere a special occasion to go to then like i'll like 
no, I'll do my makeup, just put on my lashes, and then once I get home, I'll do my makeup. Or I'll wake up a little earlier and do my makeup because I already know I'm going to like somewhere after work. So I'll like do my makeup extra, extra that day just because. You know, I'm going to like out to eat with the family or whatever. Yeah, guys, this is how I do my makeup. This is how I do my hair uh, from 1 to 10. Rate it down below. Maybe I didn't add enough blush. Maybe I added too much powder. Whatever. Rate me down below. Let me know how you... Let me know how long you guys take to do your makeup. And let me know what you guys actually think of the overall look. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Candy, and um, if you're here and you're not subscribed, like, there's a subscribe button down below, subscribe, be a part of my familia, because it's 10k, I have a, like, some deep tea to spill, like, I'm already gonna be spilling tea randomly throughout the year, like, once in a while, very often, I mean, in my videos, but, like, this big secret that I have when I reach 10k is just like whew, it's just gonna break me and guys if you're subscribing you're not getting notified like make sure you have the bell turned on so you can get notifications every single time I what upload a new video like always if you guys enjoyed like this little get ready with me give it a big thumbs up I love you guys so 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 much and remember God loves you too we'll see you back in unos en unos pocos días. Recuerden que Dios los ama.